Hi everyone! So in today's class, um, it's a little bit different because a lot of us are working from home at the moment. So these are um, exercises or stretches that you can do while you are in your Zoom meeting but with your video off. Because these are movements that um, can be distracting for people in your meeting if your video is on. Okay? So if you're able to um, just listen in to your meeting and are able to turn off your video and make sure your audio is also off, then you can do this class. So we just want to make sure that um, even though uh, we are mostly seated, if our work from home setup is with a computer, then you can still um, live um, an active lifestyle and um, do movements even while you're in your meeting. So enjoy. So in your um, meeting, make sure that the video is off. Okay. And also your audio is off when um, you do this next set of um, exercises. Okay. So once you have that set up, okay, but make sure you're still listening to your um, Zoom meeting. Okay. You go ahead and stand up okay. and then set your chair. <clears throat> okay. Maybe in front of your computer or off to the side, set your chair where you'll be able to um, make full use of your space or you have efficient or sorry, enough space for you to move around. Okay. And then you'll stand in front, bring your feet hip width apart, hands on the hips. Okay. And then just do a few circles at the hips. Okay. If you've been seated for um, a long period of time in your meeting, this would be a nice stretch or a nice relief for your hips and the back. Okay. And then from here, go the opposite direction. Okay. Know that you can keep the knees slightly bent. Okay. And then as you do this, breathing in and out of the nose. Okay. <clears throat> Another movement that I personally like is also doing figure eight at the hips. Okay. When you do figure eight, bend the knees slightly as you move the hips from side to side okay. and then go the opposite direction breathing in and out of the nose one more breath here and then we'll slowly release and then from here you will just tuck your chin in okay. and then you'll slowly roll over to one side take your time As we just release the neck because oftentimes if um, you're looking in front of your computer your neck or your head might be tilting down so this would be a nice stretch for your neck and then slowly come back to center lifting the head up and then as you inhale we'll reach the arms up Okay. Let your right hand grab for your left arm or the left wrist. Inhale, pull up. And then as you exhale, you'll just bend towards your right side. And then hold this shape for as long as you need. Slowly come back to center. We'll do the other side. Let your left arm or left hand pull your right arm up. As you exhale, you'll bend towards the left. Then we'll slowly release, come back to center, and then from here we'll reach the arms behind, interlace the fingers, and then you can press your hands behind the hips, and then just press the shoulder blades together. Okay. So if you're also um, in front of the computer all day, um, and you're just typing or just seated, this would be a nice opening for um, the front part of our body and for the shoulders. One more breath. And then from here, we'll slowly release. And then just give yourself a shake. Okay? If you've been, again, seated a long time, movement in the body is always welcome. Okay? Then from here, you'll ground your feet. Okay? And then if your meeting is quite long and you have time to do a bit of a warm-up, so this is a vinyasa that you can do on your chair. Okay? Inhale, you'll reach your arms up. As you exhale, you'll start to fold hands on the chair, okay? You can fold forward and you mount. Now, if it's accessible for you to bend maybe a bit farther away from the chair, make sure that your head doesn't hit on the chair, okay? And then you can stay here in this forward fold for as long as you like. 
inhale come up halfway okay? now with your hands on the chair push the chest um, as if it's wanting to reach forward okay? and then from here you'll step one foot back followed by the other foot so you're in a variation of a plank okay? as you're still listening intently to your meeting and then as you exhale you'll push back downward facing dog and then not only will we feel this in the hamstrings, but make sure that your hands are pressing down on your chair. And then as if you're wanting to reach the butt back. Hey, okay, breathing here. If the hamstrings are a little bit tight, you have the option to keep the knees bent. Okay. Any amount. One more breath in. And then slowly looking forward, step one foot forward, followed by the other foot. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Hands lift. Exhale, hands back. Okay. Now you can move a little bit faster if you like. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Be mindful of where your chair is at. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, step one foot back, followed by the other foot. So you're holding plank. Push away from the chair. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Again, you can hold this for as long as you like, or maybe at least five cycles of breath. Okay. And then adding on, <clears throat> and if you have, um, if you're still able to keep your video off in your meeting, okay, from here we'll step the right foot forward. Okay, and then you can adjust your stance. Okay, so we're we're in a variation to a high lunge. You can hold here or you can reach your arms up and over. Okay? You can bend any amount on that right knee. Okay? Breathe here, one more breath. And then as you exhale, hands down. Okay? Stepping back to a plank again, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay? Make sure you do it on the other side. Step the left foot forward. Okay? Hold here, or as you inhale, reaching the arms up. Then and hold high lunge, breathe. Okay, so activate the zipper, reaching the arms up towards the ceiling. One more breath. And then exhale, we'll slowly release. Stepping back to a plank, breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold again for a few cycles of breath. One more breath here. Looking in between the hands. Stepping forward, <clears throat> inhale, come up halfway, exhale, fold, inhale, reach the arms all the way up, exhale, hands back. So if you can um, still keep your video off while in your Zoom meeting, um, go ahead and do that sequence or series of movements as many times as you like. Now, if um, you already need to turn on your video, maybe right before you do that, after um, that set of poses, you know, come back to your chair. So ground yourself again on your chair. Okay, make sure that both of your feet are flat on the floor. Okay. And then before you turn your video on, okay, just take this moment to close your eyes and then just take a slow breath in through the nose and then a slow breath out. One more time, a slow breath in and a slow breath out. Just resetting again that mindfulness and that awareness, knowing that you are able to move and then you'll gently blink the eyes open. Okay. And then when you're ready, you'll go ahead and turn the video on and jump right back into your meeting. Namaste. So I hope you enjoyed that class and you got a good stretch um, doing the movements uh, while you are in your Zoom meeting. So if um, you're looking for uh, movements that you can do while in your Zoom meeting but you cannot turn off your video, make sure you check out the other class. So it is a um, work from home um, class sequence that you can do with your um, video, if your video needs to be on in your Zoom meeting. So the link will be down below. 
I would like to thank you for watching. This is Every Yoga by Joanne Daya, sharing everyday yoga for everybody.